the forge has gone quiet, the bellows blow no more. The forge has gone quiet, the smiths have gone home. Only fading embers remain, and my hearth grows cold. One kiss from you to rekindle it all. Okay, and we're back for episodes 39 and 40 of Queen of Embers. I'm your Game Master, Daniel Fox. This is the crew, the gang, the call, the people who made Swyander, Mongosh, and now Queen of Embers awesome. And a player's handbook, eventually. And the player's handbook when it comes out in December. <laughs> uh, spoiler alert, if you're listening to this, probably about six weeks after the actual announcement probably comes out, the player's handbook's coming out in December, mid-December. Well, so. on Facebook already. Uh, we, haven't really, we haven't put the release date out yet. Uh, yeah. okay. But um, for those of you who are listening um, and are not co- currently following me on Twitter, Twitter at Zwei100RPG, uh, we are doing a giveaway every single month for a Zwei100 book. Uh, the last two people to win was at Cleric of Cord on Twitter and Tony Ramirez on Facebook. We're doing one for Facebook and one for Twitter every single month. Awesome. When we release Mongosh, we'll do a giveaway for two books. Mongo Ocean's Wyhander. In December, for for the holidays, we'll do a big three book giveaway. How are you gonna be able to afford that shipping? That's a great question. <laughs> uh, Andrew McNeil handles all that okay. because this is it'll be probably be like fifteen pounds worth of books. Let's say, yeah, you, you, I mean, you could club the baby seal with that. Thing. That's right. Well, so <laughs> media <laughs> mail, <laughs> media <laughs> mail is seven dollars sixty five cents in the United States. So we're that's how ridiculous it is. That's right. That's right. That's why he uses flat rate boxes. That's yeah. right. Flat rate, baby. Um, so we're gonna just jump right into the game for episode thirty-nine. Um, Walter's back! Yay! Hey, Walter's back. We got full house tonight. Woot woot! Uh, sadly, I have an announcement to make, though. Uh, we will probably see Alistair Krim uh, be formally retired to an NPC, as Walter will be creating a new character for next week. Okay. Which we'll talk more about later on. That's always exciting. I'm just mm-hmm. happy that you're sticking around. Yeah. When I was first hearing that, I was like, wait, is Walter not going to play no more? I think, you know, Walter and I talked, and he wants a character that's a little bit more interactive, and Alistair's just not that character. Uh, he's not yeah. a yeah, the, type of, character. the type of player Walter is, Alistair's probably not the best fit. Okay. Yeah, Alistair's character isn't the best fit for Walter's personality, so I that's what we're going to do. It seemed like you were not quite into it, so. Yeah. It Dips on a sidekick. Wasn't yes. doing it for me. That's right. There's sidekick rules. Um, just kidding. Yeah, so I'll still be my sidekick. He, no, I he'll be my NPC. He's way better. So than um, we're gonna get right in. So last week, well, a lot happened. Um, Tore the boat up. So we kind of fixed the boat, and then we kind of broke the boat. What happened? Killed a bunch of mountain men. We rocked the boat. We rocked the boat, baby. Should we do fast version? Let's do the let's do that let's do the high level version. We can dive into the details. Okay, we started to fix the boat. We did a bunch yeah. of work. We successfully scared away the people, right? Yeah. Back before, and then we found two stowaways. Stowaways. Yeah, the, the two, two of the stowaways. two stowaways. Cecilia and Jonathan. Right. Jonathan. Vanda. Jonathan Vanda and Cecilia Vanda. But both definitely upper crust. Both didn't know what they were getting themselves into and around the start. They're, you you may basically find, near death in starvation. We will probably find next week ah, that the new that character that oh, really? okay. the new character at Walter Weekly is probably going to be Jonathan Vander. Okay. Okay. So um, they're, 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 we found them. We basically tossed them off the ship. For some odd reason, the captain kept saying that we were trying to kill them. Why would they, why did they stow away on the ship? Because they. Think this is the, well. It's the is. cradle of the prophet. Yeah, it's holy. It's holy. And um, Dan's NPC keeps putting words in our mouth. Uh, the captain. No, I mentioned it. Oh. <laughs> Warren keeps putting words in our mouth. Well, Warren keeps putting. I didn't. Warren, I didn't actually Warren, Warren mentioned it. So. Yeah, okay. Warren, did someone may have said, heard it. All right. Well, may have heard what? What did you do? We, oh, man, we, it's funny. I mean, it was, it's there the is only, an option to kill them. supposed to be working on the I'm boat. Not, I'm not saying we're going to do it, but it's an option. 
Okay. Well, maybe yeah. he did say that, but you know, Warren uh, said basically to murder Jonathan and Cecilia Harker, and that certainly provoked Wolfgang's ire. It hit the side of the road. You know, he was all sweet. I was just trying to say that, that it's not just always two op- two options. You always have another. Make option. them walk off the boat. That's what they were doing with pirate ships, right? So what happens? Um. Well, we start to interrogate them, just to trying to figure out what the hell's going on. Um, I believe, actually, um, nobody was successful besides you. Yeah. <laughs> Basically, everybody else was kind of um, cannot talk to humans that aren't uh, under his command. That would be uh, <laughs> that would be our captain's uh, personal uh, personal jest there. And yeah, Lisa finally got them to kind of spill the beans who they were. And then we start hearing the dogs again. That's right. Yep. And then the mountain men started throwing rocks. At what time of night was this? It was, this was at night. dusk. Yeah, That's the right. Sunset. The sun was just setting, so they were like out of doing something outside of their normal MO. They were letting the dogs out. They were definitely letting the dogs out. So we killed a few dogs to try and scare them away. And they at definitely were up on top of their MO. They set a barn on fire. They set then, two barns on fire. Then they start setting people's houses on fire. Well, they set one barn on fire, and then we shot at Or you shot at them. Because this time you were on the gun. So you shot them. Right. And that went kaboom with a lot of damage. Who shot you? And they set another one on fire. Yeah, they shot and blasted a whole one of the ships, to, or one of the houses to pieces. Just tore it all apart. It was already on fire. Yep. You know, so. That's how you put out a fire with another, yeah. with an explosion. Yeah, right? I mean, so it should have been the fire. You fight fire with fire. Yeah, exactly. Of course. I yeah. mean, that's I mean, that's the with pure logic. I'm, a, I'm an oil, but working mm-hmm. oil rigs. Yeah. And they ran after we killed the, the last like two of them that were down. Yeah, that's right. right. There was a cattle stampede involved. Oh God. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Which we haven't been able to go and see if we can't rescue. Something, something critical failure. Something, something. I think. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of cows. Uh, but lots of death. We finally scared them off, um, and that's pretty much where we ended. Um, somebody was in bad shape, weren't they? Somebody was. I was seriously wounded. Yeah. You know, it's not it that bad worse. for Terran. Like I said, that is actually true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terran, who has had an inj- has been injured and or hurt the entire campaign. Yeah, there was real, one really cool part where someone threw like a Francesca. Oh yes, yeah. she caught it. And then she caught it and threw it back. And, and then he they caught, caught it. it. Yeah, we played catch because of two critical failures. And then, if I remember correctly, one of them actually got cur- grievously injured. Right? Cur- I like, pinned blinded. one on the ground and killed him. Yeah. Somebody well, once get blinded. blinded. Yeah. Yeah. That was me or you. I can't remember. Cur- grievously yeah. injured. Yeah. The uh, I pinned the dude. Soul still burns. Yes. Killed him. By the way. And the, then the is trampling box right. killed her a couple. That's right. That's right. It was uh Which was really smart idea, Warren. What? The uh, I mean they were already tr- they were already starting to stampede. You're like, well I'm gonna direct the stampede. Yeah. Well, that's kinda witty, I mean. <laughs> so it was witty because it worked out. By the time that the it wouldn't hurt me, I was on the boat. And the other crew didn't help at all. No. They were guarding, uh, yeah, the bear's dress. Or no, the bear's dress. That's correct. Everybody's gonna, hold, everybody's gonna carry their weight, though. Yeah. <laughs> but not doing anything. Lazy ass wolf down. It's fine. It's fine. So, it's nighttime, obviously. By the time dusk sets and there's people out in the fields uh, after the attack of the dog soldiers, of the dog warriors, they're trying to snuff out the fires uh, near the farmhouses to take, to assess the situation, how serious the damage is. Wolfgang and the others return um, covered in soot. It appears that Krung has been injured. Uh, Cecily and Jonathan Vander have been near the ship. Uh, fortunately, we're not uh, trampled by the oxen. And um, Sammy has been hurt as well. Hmm. Well, remember, I jumped he's down. He suffered some sort of burn. I jumped down to protect Cecilia and Jonathan. Mm-hmm. That's right. 
I mean, I did make sure they didn't get killed too earlier. <laughs> like, so there is a send them back. <laughs> a bit of chaos at the moment. Ajar, uh, taking in what's happened. <clears throat> Boss, should we help with those spies? Uh, yeah, I would try to uh, carouse. Uh, Boss is standing at the Sorry, building that he was at and just staring into the fire right now. All right, so he's right. uh he's he's got a glazed over look on his face. I will join the uh, bucket line or whatever they're doing to put out fires. Yeah, I'm gonna try to like ride between him and the fire and try to like grab his attention if possible. He snaps too. Hmm? What? Well, they ran. I know. I figured we might need help putting this fire out, but I don't know if you are necessarily the right person for that job. If you want to go... Why not? Keep an eye on the lady. Well, I mean, you team seem to be a distracted. Yeah, I've been stabbed a bunch. Right, so you should go get looked at. What is the best? On the ship. Uh, at this moment... Terran actually kind of takes in the fact that he lost a few minutes and he for he briefly gives a look like he's scared and then he snaps back to it. He's like, uh, where's, where's Warren? Uh, I think he's over there by the boat on the ground. Alright, yeah. Join in with, uh, join in with Banica Bannister. Yeah. Well, before I leave, I'll say keep the ropes up. Yeah, at least this stays at the pressure. The uh, the the anchor is still affixed in the ground, and the ship is like leaning seriously to the left. The whole thing you heard when you fired the Ribblequin, the all of the you hear the wood snap and break, the framework down below, <laughs> and something within the ship rumbled and let loose some sort of nasty gout of smoke. It was not just the gun powder on the book of the firing. I believe three shots now remain. Well, they we shot, shot two. Twice. That's right, you shot twice. That's right. And it gets loaded how many times? Nine. Nine. Seven, seven, seven shots. I don't know if we could take another shot. Get up here. <clears throat> Once the, find out. once the fire's died down, I'll, 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 I'll see if I can't get Warren and Harper to help me see if we can't find the animals. Certainly. In the evening as such, you'll be able to recover. I uh, need a handle animal test. Who's going to lead it? I will. Okay. And an assist die. Oh, okay. You will? Yeah. There you go. Yeah. So in this case, um, Harper is leading it along with um, Peoples and Warren. And handle animal, sorry, would have been a 53 uh, standard, right? Mm -hmm. So I got a 30 and a 20 size. So nice. <clears throat> there is a bit of, there is quite a bit of smoke lingering in the air. Obviously, uh, the moon is waxing gibbous. Beyond the smoke, however, you can see the twinkling in the Leviathan's eye of Warren. And you, Alistair, too, feel its cold gaze. You managed to rustle. What is your fellowship bonus? Uh, four. Okay, roll a 1D, 1D10 and add four. Yeah. How many animals you rustle? On. Seven plus four is 11. Nice. All of them. It's all of them. <laughs> you managed to rustle up all the oxen, fortunately, that were chased off by the blast of the Ribble Queen. <laughs> the Madeline looks like really can't. the Madeline looks like she's gonna need even more repairs now. That shot kind of undid some of the work, and you can see even deeper damage has been done to the framework around the ship. How uh, much job is it done? I we got these oxen wrangled. I guess I should see to some of these wounded special terrain here. They ain't looking too good. Been less. I didn't. It's in contest. I wasn't saying he did. 
We'll get on with it. All right. What's your uh, condition? Seriously wounded? No, nope, I'm moderately wounded. Moderately wounded. wounded. Okay. So that that's right. Is... You ignore moderate injuries. No, yeah, normally I'm, be no, routine, just... but out in the wild what? like this and covered in soot and smoke and blood as you are, it'll be standard. Sixty-four percent chance to succeed. I'll re-roll. How are you re-rolling? I'll take that misfortune point. Thank you. Sorry, didn't do it. Spin the bandage. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. uh, the ministrations of uh, Warren's medical knowledge you know, do you no good. He manages to bind it up, but you don't get that human feeling. Thanks. Uh, this is my four points. Da da da. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Feel better already. Get some good food in your belly tomorrow morning. I'll help you feel better. <coughs> I see to the rest of the people who are injured as well. Certainly. You and your rope bird. It appears that Sammy. 24 hours now. Do you want me to. Should I expend bandages for. No. It appears Sammy was hurt, was burned trying to pull the fires out, and Wolfgang was. Uh, seriously injured by a splinter of wood that came through his hand oh, God. as he was down below. Oh, his only good hand? His hand, yeah, his good hand, his right hand. He's holding on to the mooring when it happened. A splinter of wood kind of went through his hand. It's pretty nasty. Strong hand. Ugh. Grab a strong hand. <laughs> he thanks you for him. Attending to his injury. Harung, harung bigly, the large woman will approach and. What do we do now? The captain's been injured. We defend the bastard in the ship. Well, I say, uh, unless he's got any issues with it, because he's a captain, uh, we put him up above so he can rest. Sammy says. A lot of work we did today, we just done did. Well, sounds like we need more hands to make less work. So you're saying that uh, we shouldn't do that again? He kind of looks at you. If they attack Sorry. again. I don't necessarily see this de-escalating anytime soon. Well, we either move on, or we try and repair it. But we can't leave it behind. I know that much, he says. We can't, it'd just be a bad idea. The barrister, her face is covered in soot as well. There's quite a bit of smoke in the air, and she says, It would not be in our best interest to arrive at Cale Tyrion without the Madeline in tow. Right. Now, if we must make that decision, well, I should trust in that you will make the right decision. Well, it will certainly mean our ingress into the stead wall will be easier, but it will mean our <laughs> our negotiations in Kael Tyrion will be hamstrung. Don't suppose, don't suppose we could take it down to Kael Tyrion and have it repaired there. Certainly be a lot safer. I mean, it wouldn't be quite the presentation, sir. <laughs> you pull out the map and look at the <clears throat> look at the paths. You know the path from that Hastings is from here to Fiefstead, and then on to Elmiran's gates, or Kael Tyrion rather, sorry. Um, south of that is the law. The intention initially was to go to skip Fiefstead, that's where Commander Tenenfelder is leading the, the decoy mission to, to attract the enemies of the Baroness, and then you were to progress south through the Steadwall through Blackfire Pass. To come to the mall, then to Elmiran's gates, then to Kaltirian. I can't really, rightly tell how long that is, but it looks pretty far. Well, here's the thing we may come across more trouble further on, and also, the ground is only going to get worse. That's true, Sammy says. So, Wolfgang's out of it. 
I think so I'm filling in, he says. He sits down with you all on a nearby log. I think at least one more day's worth of repairs is needed. <sighs> now, I don't know much about boats, but if he says it's work, if it's the same, if we undid what we did today, and we're about to go into a swamp, which, sure, the, the Jennies, they've, they've made it a better place, but it's still a swamp. Well, what, I'm, what, I'm getting, what I'm getting at is it, it's going to get there regardless. I mean, we get to somewhere where it's a little safer, where they ain't going to be harassing us every, every day. <clears throat> what they say about running the long suns? The vying for his his seat, I guess you would say. Secession. There was a war for secession. I don't know if it's truly a war because I don't know how these mountain men, I don't know the secession plans or land is distributed. I don't, I don't, I don't know those things because I'm not a mountain man. We gave them, gave them what for? Two nights in a row we have. We tried to scare them off. We shot dogs, for God's sakes. All in sons of bitches. Once they started going after the animals, we had to. I'm sorry. I mean, well, we, had to take, we had to take other. What else meetings. could you do? He says, agreeing. <coughs> they asked you, they're going to be back the night, next night, and then the next, and then the next. So. There's one more thing to consider. What's that? What's, well, we had a diversionary group that was going ahead of us. They are ahead of us. Mm -hmm. The more time we put between their travels and our travels, the more likely their diversion's not going to work. So, it's true too. If pieces of the ship were to break off here, if we were to get that bad, we could find them. They'd be here in the grassland, or the fields, of, and we'd be able to we'd be able to repair them. If pieces were to break off in a swamp, and Gods forbid it, they sank. Now, I'm not a craftsman, but I know that it's harder for me to fight in waist deep water, knee deep water. I can't imagine trying to repair something. Well, she's water worthy, Sammy says. Just not road worthy. That's right. So, so you, so this damage that's been done to it. It's, I mean, it's I don't know, I don't know anything about boats, but... Well, the damage isn't to the metal line, the damage is to the cradle that's holding it. Which is the, which is the wagon part. That's right. Well... So, boss, uh, yeah, it's, it's, the, the boat is set in the... Sam, Sammy was telling me about this, that's, that's what I'm reading. Yeah. And it may, maybe Sammy can explain this better than me, but they basically built, um, like a wagon around the metal line so that's that right. they could pull it. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's like a, it's like a skeleton wagon. Uh, uh, I wouldn't know what you would call it. Yeah, it's like a big old cradle to carry a big old fat baby. There you go, with wheels. Well, and there ain't no rivers that go where we're going, right? Well, well we were gonna do we, that. if we went into the mountains and went north to Fiefstead, we could get on the Cauldron Lake and we could sail her down Axwater River. But that puts us right in the line of the place where Tannenfelder's mm -hmm. going. Wait. We go south, we go to the mall, we can't get to the river till we reach Elmeron's gates. Wait, sail? What? There's sails for this thing? Yeah. It was. You just said that it was waterworthy. Yeah, I mean, if it's waterworthy, it floats, but... Haven't you seen the big old canvas bags up there? No. Oh. And sails, boy. So... There's one <laughs> other answer that you haven't been considered at this point. A lie. So. Well, yeah, if we could figure out how to fly, I'm sure we wouldn't have needed the cradle in the first place. But no, if one hand makes one work, how many hands does it take to make more work? We go to the town, we hire some people for the next day, and we try to get as much done as we can, and we leave before night. <coughs> That's a good idea. Right, that's what I said. They already said, you know, the prime, and he said that they owe us at this point, and that they are grateful for our help. So why not? How would you do with some laborers? Well, I'd certainly do it. Hell, now, 
I don't know how extensive the damage is. I ain't got good light. Won't know till morning. But there's preparations going to be made tonight regardless among all of us. Right. So tomorrow's going to be a long day regardless. Well, we had two days to fix it. And you say we basically undid everything we did during the day, which was one of our days. Yeah, that's <laughs> right, but we only have about 11 pairs of hands. So we get a bunch of folk around here to... Pitch in. Saw some wood. Splitting some, splitting some wood. Hammering pythons and nails, making some knots and rope. I think we could probably jury rig this, at least to get it out of Hastings in the mountains. We get in the mountains, at least we know we're not going to be on the open field. And if them mountain men, them dog warriors, try coming after us, at least we'll have the, the protection of the veil among us. Mountains, that is. I don't know what waits in those mountains, but I know that out here in the open, it's just like a bunch of sharks. Right. It's true. These valleys, uh, we're just we're like sheep. They're the wolves. I don't know about you, but I don't see it stopping anytime soon. No, no. <clears throat> so. So we use Elise and Hopper's idea, and we divide up, and we try to hire as many people as we can. Should we try to do that tonight? Yes. Of course. I'm pretty want. sure the. Uh, I think we're going to spend yeah. some coin here. The only way to get them would be to get them at first light, for us to actually get work done. So, we go tonight, we find those that we can, those that we can hire, hopefully for cheap rate. Then we have them meet at first light after Sammy has time to assess. But obviously, you know things that will have to be done no matter what, such as collecting wood and such. Send them to that. So, Luis, I think that's a brilliant idea. Can I make a suggestion? You know, um, Brockter, he's, he's not my flavor. You, you two fit in better with his yoke. Um, maybe you think. Warren and Alistair and, and myself, maybe even Harper. We go to the we go to the pub and you know we mix and have a drink, beg and no 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 no. no. Yeah. You know um, you know yes, but we, we have a drink. You carouse motivating you drinks. You'd cause suspicion if you didn't drink. I would. I would. Yeah. That's that's a good point. So how much, money, how much cash y'all got? Enough. It would be about four. It would be four pennies per head out there. We have enough. Four pennies per head. Okay. Okay. Probably, I mean, a place like this probably round up a good 40, 50 people. But at that point, we're just on top of each other's feet. How many I mean, do what's you your call? number? Twenty. Twenty. Twenty is about it. We find 20 people who are sharp enough to drive a nail straight and tie a gun knot and a rope. I'm sure we'll find somebody around here, although I think these people may be a little soft, being these apiers. Apiers. They've had the fits. How do you get any... There's foresters around here, without a doubt. How do you get any apier than yeah, right there. No, the bees. 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 Ah. The, the beekeepers, yeah? Ah. The apiers. Yeah. So, so yeah, 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 yeah. So, maybe you guys go and smooth this out. We save the town again. And give me the give me the cash, and I'll I'll start rounding folk up. I'll give him some pennies, whatever. I don't so know. Four pennies ahead. Touch 80, 20? 80, 80 pennies, eighty brass pennies with a lead. Is everybody gonna pitch in on this? Okay, yeah. All right, I'm throwing twenty. We're all gonna be working all night. There ain't no lollygagging around. Yeah. All right. Okay, down. Rome needs to get her rest, she's hurt too, so it's going to be all of us. I am going to work very hard to get you men. <laughs> yeah, I'll throw in another 20. For that. Yeah, there's 20. I'll throw in the last 20. Or right. you want to start or making some food for us? We're going to be needing to eat if we're going to be working this hard. Lazy. You need me to get some food? I still right think here? me and you, uh, oh, we will do it. well gathering men. Not driving nails. I don't even know how well, to I find work for you. Don't worry about that, he says. I think he's trying to say he's management material. <laughs> everybody <laughs> swings a hammer. Everybody hews with a with a mallet. Is All right, now. Let's get going. All right. Does everybody swing, swing a sword? No matter. You all get into work. We're going to try to get the hell out of here by tomorrow night. That'll uh, work. How serious are you? Yes. Oh, I already, I've already walked off. I'm yeah. going to the pub. Yep. Yeah. You're not going to join them in work? No, he's going to recruit. I thought we had to go recruit. 
Oh, there's no way. He said he would see to it. Yeah. Oh, same he's going to see yeah. to it. Okay. Yeah. Same as he'll see to it. Uh, okay. Well, then, yeah, I guess I'll work. Who will I mean, not work? I don't know how. Who will work, rest? But... Okay. Karen, you want me to see to, to cooking or you want me to work? I want you to cook. Alrighty. The night will draw on and the day will come. And you all are working throughout the evening and being suffering from sleep deprivation as you gain uh, 13 mental peril. I slept all day. Does that change anything? Just remember, I. You didn't sleep all day, you slept for six hours. Okay. Because I was sleeping while they were negotiating. Oh, you're fine then, you're right. Because you felt, that's right, because you were incapacitated. Yeah, I was incapacitated. So you're, you're actually fine, yeah, okay. you're absolutely fine in okay. your case, Harper. That's why I was like, yeah, I'll work It'll kick in later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll suck later. <laughs> the next day it. comes, and there's a steady... Does his... Uh, how long does your... Uh, uh, the good good vibes, your plus one last? Oh, I oh was... into the combat. Okay. The good vibes. Right. The good vibes. What's it called again? Inspiring works. Yeah, Inspiring I like it. I was gonna say your litany of good. <laughs> <laughs> so litany of I know it's. I know it's not that. <laughs> litany of love. Litany of love. It's the power of love. So that next day, um, there's a generous amount of work going on. The hammering of um, the sound of people passing by. Those who are working uh, with saws and hammer. Very, very busy. You feel a cold autumn day awaiting you. But um, regardless, you stay pretty busy oh. for most of it. You can hear the felling of a tree nearby as they are hammering on things. Dropping uh, trees to quickly begin to fashion this thing. You realize this whole thing was kind of held together with spit and luck. This entire framework, the work that you did the day before. <laughs> so rope and oh, what a mooring. Rope <laughs> yeah. and tinder. Yeah. How many attacks last night? Uh, it was 20? 12. 12. No, it was 12. 12. It was 4, 4, and 4. Yeah. yeah. 4 at each barn and then 4 at the main place. And then 4 dogs at the. Yeah. Like 3 dogs were dead and yeah, 8. We, or was it? No, we killed 3 and there was like 1 left. Yeah. So we killed 7. How many people died? On our side? 7. Oh, 7. We killed 7. Out. Yeah, four that attack one barn because you blew them up. Uh, three at the boat. Three at the boat. That's right. So, well, one we didn't kill, we blinded them. <clears throat> that's right. So those your rest are recovered to unhindered. The, the, um, around, so. <laughs> the day is very, very long. You work not only from that evening, but you work all the way to dusk. It's a very, very long and strenuous uh, affair. Let's see if you are able to actually repair the ship to make it roadworthy before dusk. So, who wants to be our volunteer roller? We've got tradecraft. Do it. Okay. Go for it. Oh, you do have tradecraft? Okay. Uh, so, Sammy will assist you in that case. Yeah, we do. We do. So, uh, this test for you see, will we be. Should been, you should have been leading the crew. Not it will be a challenging test. Okay. Uh, challenging tradecraft will be a. 29% chance to succeed. Actually, no, 39, I'm sorry. No, yeah, 39. Let me know you success. I rolled 11. a 10. Damn. And let's see here, my uh, bonus is four. So that's uh, five. Five, yeah. So by the time the night comes, there's still work going on. You're still hammering and hacking and hewing. How many did you Show get? Your fight. Where is your strength from, son? <laughs> Show your the work is growing even more, more laborious and um, 
They're trying to get this done as fast as possible. And you could hear the distant rolling of thunder coming from the mountains from beyond this dead wall. You can see the flash of light over the peaks of the mountains. And you realize that despite the fact that you and these 20 people worked for as hard and as fast as you did today, that you're not even halfway done. You need 11 degrees of success. So it can't be moved at this point. No. So it's the same as Will you continue your work this evening too? Do you work forever? I think it'd be a bad idea to. We gotta stop. To shifts. We should do this in shifts. Yes. <clears throat> Your reward is the foreman. I can't swing another hammer. I got a rest. I'm hungry. Well, then you can have some of this mess of food I just cooked up. I'm gonna use my uh, feast or famine cool. ability. Okay. So roll your test. This test will be um, standard for you. Okay. Fifty-nine percent chance to succeed. Critical, critical failure. Oh, oh no. Sweet. He burned it. Not only does the food, who's going to partake of the food tonight? Oh, yeah. Everybody. I would have. Yeah, yeah totally. Like food, yeah. Not only did the food, food taste bad, it, it it actually gives you a little bit of Bubble a stomach ache. In fact, <laughs> there is a there is a disease called hot snakes, which is minus three movement. Oh. Everybody suffers from hot snakes. Cool. I guess we are going to sleep then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> Hot things. <laughs> yeah. Orange food was so good, it was going like hot snakes. <laughs> yeah, it just goes right through you. Yeah. How many people can you affect with it? Uh, four. Four, so... Oh. Yeah. So one of us didn't eat. Well, uh, one of us just... Oh, everyone A is just one person with an effect. I'll yeah. take an effect. I'll take one. So I'll take one. Okay. okay. So yeah, one more impact hot snakes. <laughs> so one, uh, hot snakes will last for the next 48 hours. Dude, 48 problems. hours, man. I'm, maybe we should have. Put, Warren, you're not taking it. You're the only one with trade craft. Maybe you should be able to move. <laughs> so the work will discontinue this evening. Is that right? That's up to them. I mean, if I'm hot snaking it. <laughs> You kind of run back and forth from the woods here and there. The food Woo! did not so well. It's cool. <laughs> oh, the yeah, I think we're all rough. Sammy will, Sammy will basically run the, uh, at that point, Sammy will run the crew as best he can. I'll have you roll for Sammy. Uh, his chances are uh, 37%. Okay. Well, if he's going to keep working, I'll keep working. Uh, no. Mm, not successful. That's a failure. That's right. Three. Night will turn to day, and as the sun rises the following day, you still have hot snakes. <laughs> uh, you all recover to unhindered, but you still feel the bubble gut after effects. The work persists throughout the day today with Warren as the foreman. This is the session. Like, this is the section of Warhammer where they're building the farm. Like, fucking come on, build the farm faster! <laughs> Click the button. Okay. So uh, your test now is standard. Okay. Standard. Yep. Uh, uh, standard. Trade craft is forty nine percent. And I rolled a nineteen. Don't put walls up. Put How many there. degrees of success? Uh, so that is it's the ten die plus. Yep. Okay, so that's five. Ooh. Or, uh, yeah, five. You have ten degrees of success. You need eleven. Did You're your really other, close. Did your other die succeed? No. Okay. The storm finally rolls in on the second day and it begins raining, washing over the town, washing over you. Son of a. Miserable. Time, at least. Day turns to night well, yeah, on the second storm. day. On the second day. <laughs> we'll cook again. Okay. Uh, your chance uh, will be standard again because you're pulling okay. double duty. All right. Double uh, duty. No, we're pulling double duty. <laughs> okay, so 59. Jeez. I'm going to re-roll it. I'll take a misfortune point. Oh, what? thank you! Can I skip this? Heal. Oh. It allows you to heal. Okay. Uh, that's a success. Nice. So I heal up to four people. I'll up take one, one step. One step. Finish track. I'll, I'll take and one. one peril as well. I'll take oh, one peril. I'm good if we want to let the captain as well heal. Yeah, his food will heal the belly. It warms the belly. It is very, 
By the third day, hot snakes are gone. Are you all gonna stay up this evening and work or sleep once more? I'm gonna try to finish the work. I'll stay up. Terrin will sleep. Who will stay up? Raise your hand. You know, we rested yesterday, so. That's right. Okay, uh, because you don't have unity uh, in all of your workers around the table, uh, your test will all be hard. Okay. Hard trade cap is. Sorry, challenging my apologies. Challenging trade, trade cap is going to be uh, 39%. Yeah. Do I still have Sammy's help? Yes, you do. 39%. Seed. And that's a success. Uh, with. Okay, so it, yes, uh, so that's going to be six degrees of success. Okay. It takes three full days to repair this, and those who stayed up uh, <laughs> suffer eight mental peril from sleep deprivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Finally, no, I'm good. Finally, a low roll. <laughs> oh, Harold. I love imper impervious mind. It's a good talent. It really is. Yeah. Sorry, physical peril, not mental peril. My apologies. Oh. Uh, oh. It's physical peril. Like to suck. Yeah. That's sorry. okay. Eight's still my threshold. <laughs> So we fi we finish everything up at the end of the night. That's right. At dusk. Uh, yes, at dusk. Okay. Well, Taryn, when I can make one more meal before we go. It's up to you. Uh, uh, above board, um, you could also try to heal me with bandages if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, I, let's go ahead and do that. Sure. Please. The bandage. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, and I'm light, I'm lightly wounded. All right. Good. It's on my. Oh yeah. Uh, not in these conditions. Okay. Oh yeah. It's gonna be routine. Routine. Okay. So routine conditions. heal is. Let's see here. Seventy-four percent chance to succeed. Oh, I'm rolling a lot tonight. That is a success. Success. Okay. So I'll, heal, I'll heal myself as well. I think that's probably standard. If this yep. was one degree okay. harder yet. Uh, are you are you lightly wounded? I'm lightly wounded? wounded. Yes. Okay. So it'll be standard. You have to heal yourself. Standard. Okay. Because it shouldn't heal yourself. You always sixty-four, and that is a success. Okay. I'll mark off two managers. Sweet. This will now put you four days away, or four days behind the uh, commander Tenenfelder. The next day will come. Morning. You all are feeling really weary, but the work gets done. Come! Wolfgang says, we must leave. It's been far too long. Uh, Let's get out of here. Were we able to find any of the other oxen? Or were we found, we had put up a bounty for them. We were busy working. I mean, we were busy working. Right, found, I, but we had, I thought we put up a bounty for them. We did. Yeah, the only oxen that came back are the ones that you recovered. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if any of the other people found them. Uh, they, they, by the way, you need to pay the people too for the other three days worth of work. Yep. Or two days rather. So another um, eighty and eighty. Yep. So one hundred, hundred and sixty brass pennies. Uh, I'll pay forty. I'll pay forty. Okay. I'll also pay forty. Sure. How much is forty brass pennies? Let's see here. The bounty sheet. There are two hundred and forty brass pennies to one gold crown. I got the other That's one. Right. That's fine. <laughs> it's, it's, Okay. The people of Hastings will, will will give you a grand goodbye. They will give you enough foodstuffs to make it through the mountains. Okay. At this point, um, Wolfgang is still in pretty rough shape, so Sammy's kind of leading the crew at this point. The uh, you you whip the hot so snakes. Hot snakes is gone. Oh. I'll take your hot snakes. You're done with your rope burns. Oh, rope burns. Rope burns are gone too. Yeah, I remember four <laughs> day, uh, three days have passed, so. If you have any injuries that are currently recuperating, yep. you like, oh, three days. I already have. All right. I got two days left. Hmm. And then I can use both arms. Awesome. <laughs> Boat tank. Yeah. It's okay. It'll be about enough time for me to get injured again. Yeah. You hear the slow groaning sound. The oxen begin to snort and chatter as the as what remains in your in your um, team. Strains to pull the great Madeline up this twisting, winding switchback through the foothills as you leave Hastings behind and head toward the Steadwall, the place where the folk, the dog warriors, live. We just killed them. It's called a threat. <laughs> warning shot. Hey, we did warning shots. 
And words. And words. That was morning deeds. And then there were deeds. <laughs> The warning shot might have been from a siege weapon, <laughs> but it's still a warning shot. That's right. Hey, you come it. into the mountains, and the sounds of the forest kind of disappear. By midday, you are amid the foothills, and right before nightfall, you are at the foot of the mountains, and you can see this winding path of broken rubble and scree awaiting you as winds kind of sweep down off the mountains, cold and chilly. You can see the great stead wall rising all around its crown, disappearing amid the clouds, or at least into the darkness now. There is no life to be found out or save for your own. Most of the trees that grew turned to, to rugged grass. You can hear the tumbling of rock and scree from nearby hills. The whole place is isolated. You've left Durindal behind. You've left, most, you've left the Ravane girl behind and entered the, the frontier land. You know of none that live amid these mountains, save for the fact that the, supposedly the folk uh, who are raiding Hastings probably are somewhere in the hills. <laughs> Excuse me, they don't live in the mountains itself. You know that the path, consulting your map, goes one of two ways from here. You can go east and south, to the, or sorry, west and south to the mall, or you can go north to Fiefstead. If you go direct to Fiefstead, the road to Kale Landon is direct, but uh, it's the road that Commander Tannenfelder and uh, his company took. If you go south and west, it'll take you first to the Maw, the Swamplands, the Land of the Jinnies. And if you head further west, it'll take you to Almiran's Gates. From there, you can take the ship into the river and sail upriver, coming to Kale Tyrion. So you have a choice. Will you go north to Fiefstead? Or will you take the paths south and west of the Maw? Wolfgang is down there consulting the map. He appears to be a little... He appears to be doing too well. He's a little green around the gills. Well, Sammy says, We got a choice. You can feel the wind get up tugging at your clothes and sweeping you across your face. I think we stick to the plan. Go to the Maw? That's the plan. It's the Jenny's land. It's been the plan from the beginning, and yeah, it is the Jenny's land. Alright. We are a few days behind. Right? You hear some great raptor kind of cr- sp- kind of spinning overhead in the high the high uh, clouds. Or a few hit days behind, I mean, wouldn't hurt to catch up, but it wouldn't. Oh, it could hurt. Okay. It, it could have. Uh, are you wanting to go north? I'm, a, I'm wanting nothing, boss. I just made my comment. Ah. Hello, should we follow this detour? Hmm? It does seem to me that we are three days behind schedule. We are? Yes. So... And we have a gigantic boat. If we think that we haven't drawn some kind of attention, not just from Hastings, then I think that would be quite uh, short-sighted of us. If we bring this north to Fiefstead, we can get right on Cauldron Lake, he says. We can go down river and make it to Kale Tyrion. Maybe even make it there in time. Same time Commander Tannenfelder gets there. Quick question on that, though. How close is that? What, what other towns does that bring us near? Well, we'll be near Old Lork. Not far, at least, just across Cauldron Lake. That's dangerous water. Very. Isn't everything around us? If you thought no, these folk were bad, those are straight up bandits up there. Again, here old Orc's big city, that right? It is. And uh, there's a lot of uh, people that are just as soon sticky. Stick you instead of look at you. Oh, no, that's just true. It's just pirates, hey. another riffraff. Hmm. I can't be local, it's not that bad. Danger to every turn. <laughs> You're not revenging. I am not, sir. And that way, I'm coming. <laughs> that is true. Also. That's why I'm saying we stick to the mall. Just, just. Uh, 
Make a decision, boss. The, it, the decision is, is uh, the way I see it, there's two options. One, be late. Two, be dangerous. Wait, Venn diagram, which way are you going? The barrister is going to inquire you the map as well. <coughs> barrister. Well, yes, that's the question. Which one, which... Dangerous? And on time? Yes. Or late? I would need to know more information, she says. How bad would it be if we did not arrive on the day that you were stated to arrive? I assume you've done research on your, uh, <clears throat> companion you'll be speaking to, so what would be worse? Well, I suppose it doesn't matter of how far we make it to the mountain, how late we will be. A week. For four a week. days. We're four days behind. Four days. So it could be a week. But that's now. That's not if we run into more trouble. It's not if we get stuck in the swamps. That's mm -hmm. not if... Well, it'll be less time for me to prepare for the masquerade. Masquerade? We're going for cotillion. Like, with paper faces on display? She, she would have less masquerade. time when she arrives to prepare for the masquerade. As right. I understand that you will be accompanying me there, she says. And we would. Well. We will not have much time in Kael Tyrion. If we are delayed any more than four days, we'll make it there the day before the masquerade. I assume this masquerade is uh, where you plan to push your agenda. She nods. To be any more tardy would be to mean to miss the masquerade, and that would be most disastrous. So, wow. this will all be in for naught. Would see my hands are tied. So, so quickly, how much time would we say if we went the other way, Sammy? And I'm, I'm, at this point, I'm gonna well, look at John. Isn't he the uh, aristocrat that's been stowed away that actually knows maps? He has nothing of the road. He, uh, I couldn't say I. I have no idea. I've never seen this map before in my life. <coughs> well, then, Sammy, anyone who actually can read this thing. Well, I can read a damn map. I'm showing you right here. He sits down. Look. Most time. He I'm, says, I'm, I'm, look right here. Well, I can't tell you time. I, damn if I know, nobody can. I don't think nobody charted out how long it takes us to get with the big damn boat. <laughs> so look at this. We go north here from where we're at. We'll make it to Fiefstead on Cauldron Lake. We take the matter line. I got that. How many days to Fiefstead versus how many oh, days? Oh, we'll get there. In, we get there in a day. So a day, or three days to the mall. Yeah, two days to the mall. Even saving a day could make the difference. That's right. Guess we didn't quite expect to see if we. Would. For what happened in Hastings to happen, but okay. So, boss, I don't, I don't, I don't think we really have the choice. We don't. <laughs> we have Remember those two choices you were given. And following after the distraction is not the worst thing. You'll have cleared at least somewhat the way. Well, there'll be it'll be more dangerous than the southern route. But you know what I could see happening. Uh, well, you know, like the Baron Lyndon Genevieve and the Baroness. Uh, Madeline Dupre being at odds. We roll through there with uh, with the, the Madeline. They, I expected, you know, maybe we'd have to negotiate our way through or something like that. We don't have time to do that. They could hold this up. We'd be late. Who rules Fiefstead? The barrister, the barrister says. Asks, inquires. <laughs> That's a good question. I, I, That's Lord Randall Long, Sammy says. Or um, did, at least. So basically, we killed his men. This boat's going to... Be the death of us. Yes. Agreed. Did we kill Randall Long's men? All the men in the mountain, so the Longs. Well, the dogs were them, right? No, I think they're splitting hairs over dogs versus men. <laughs> well, no, no, no. I mean the dogs, not the... Yeah, the dog, the dog warriors. Dog. Yeah. That's what the locals call them. Gods only knows what gods and clans they pray to. 
Sammy says. Well, son of a squirrel. Mm -hmm. well, that's what I say. So. so we go south and we get in Jenny Lands and we may be late. We go north and we get there on time and we're in. Well, we're in. We may be under war. But. We got the Mountain Lions guns! We can't use the Mountain Lions guns again. Well, well, the biggest problem we had was them in the cradle. It's not in the cradle any longer because it's on the water. We gotta go through the feaststead to get to the water, he says. Is there any way on that map to get to water that's not through those two paths? Well, he says. We can take the Black Fire Pass. Oh, man. Our choices are just. What's in Black Fire? Poorer Black. and poorer as they come. That sounds familiar, but I can't remember what's in Black Fire. That's the unsettled lands. It's your picks. Your That's right, the painted folk. It's the unsettled lands. You think the dumb and are dangerous? You can't go there. <laughs> well. We cannot go that way. Haunted land. They'd be the ones that uh, don't have an actual agenda against us, but... Yes. They have an agenda against everyone but the realm. No. Yeah. Pits, they eat us! That, that agenda is kill you and eat you. The man-eaters. <clears throat> I don't really care what they do after I'm dead. Honestly. So, so, is there any way to speed us through this? Is there any way to drive this thing all night? I can help. With a gigantic boat? Ox can only, Ox go, can so only go so far. And so fast. Well, we got two teams, I thought. That was the whole point. Well, we had two teams. We're That's down to 11 right. oxen. No, no, no. We got more than 11. We got way more than 11. We, we start with 40. 40. We lost... We're down to like 30 something. Okay. We lost 12. We were able to save... Hold on, where are the numbers at? Does anybody have the numbers now? Tw we lost 12 the first time? Well, I'm just looking at the numbers here. Here's what we got. We can't overwork the oxen, so there ain't no way we can go faster unless you can transform into an ox, or a team of them at least. And there ain't no oxen out here. Now, that's not to say we couldn't raid the Dunnish, take their oxen, but... <laughs> Dunlins, these folk, they liked stealing steam cattle zone. It's a grave offense in the first place. I don't think that's even a choice, so let's move on from that one. That's right. I guess you could say we're stuck between a rock and a hard place. No matter which way we go, we're fucked, he says. Go north to Fiefstead, and we're right in the middle of the Folklands. Go south to the Maw. Well, that's the Jennies. Go west through Blackfire Pass. Pass through the Unsubtle Lands. Man Eaters. Well, if we're screwed either way, why don't we go the way that could possibly get us there on time? The Unsubtle Lands will get us there fastest, but those are home lands. If we're willing to do it, we can go that direction. I don't think Wolfgang's going to put up much of a fight. He's looking a little sickly. Like I stated, anything but south. All right. Your thoughts. We need to make a decision, and, and I think we've talked enough. Let's make it lickety split. Let's go through the pass. You? Pass. Alistair? I've never been willing to die to get to a party on time. So which way? Not the pass. Shakes his head. Alright. Alright. I ain't going through that pass. I'll get the fuck off this boat. Alright. And I'd rather the south than the pass. So you don't want to go north? Stay the course. That's what I said. I'd be willing to go north. I'd be willing to go north. Not south. Once again, there's. When you go north, we will be under attack. It's very likely that those folk who tried to kill us and take the, the mountain line down will be north. They will be north. As we know, the, as we know what the what we're facing down, 
Their numbers are far greater up there. That was just a war party. So are you saying that any way we go, we're basically... Right. As, as many in the sellsword line say, I think I could take four. Five to push it. Then you say so. So I say so. Yeah. <laughs> if every way they used to death, then we, I guess we just take the pass. Yeah. Uh, wait. We go home. Southern Way doesn't necessarily lead to death that we know of. We know that they're going to be up north. We know the pass is the last. <laughs> pass is going to say the fastest. You're right about the south. Maybe not as much danger, but who knows what it's up uh, the Baron's sleeve. Uh, Elephants. I'm going to try and remember and if I hear any stories. How of fast is the pass? One day? We get the Calterian in two days. Well, I'll or, sorry, three days. My apologies. I'll try and think of if I've heard any stories about the picks <laughs> sailing, like going in river barges or sailing or, or you know, anything Just like that. Uh, <laughs> the, the pit, as you know, the, the painted folk, as they're sometimes called, the picks, yeah. as they've been called by others. Um, <laughs> They uh, are, they are forsworn not to cross the boundaries of rivers. Uh, they are forbidden from doing so. Hey, you know what? I'm sure it makes things a pain they they don't go across water, and we'd be on water. We'd be on the pass for one day, then two days on water. That's what your man just said. We get through the pass, and we get through that <coughs> quick. We can be on the river. And <coughs> Heading to Calterian. So we know one day. One day. That pa- that road over through the pass and the other side of the pass is Elmeron's gates. We need ab- to skip them all entirely. We absolutely know that there'd be violence on the road up north. And as much as I don't Yeah, I just don't wanna I just don't wanna march us into something that was worse <coughs> than we that we had out of instincts. So I know you have strong reservations towards the pass. Have they changed at all? Boss, I don't... Just make your call. Just go with the boss. You're the boss. That's the point of this. This is not a democracy. I know. This is an autocrat. I'll make sure she gets there alive. That's all That's what it matters. should be. This is military. Well, then let's do the pass. I was going to say, if there is such apprehension, there is one more option. Well, why didn't we hear that before now? What, turn well, back? I just thought of it. <laughs> that would be a great option. But no, if we go south, and if we do find that we've been held up, one of us takes the barrister and continues on to Calterion and let them know the gift is behind. At the very least, she gets there to be able to discuss the masquerade. She may not have the gift, but the gift can arrive, and it may still work. Uh, how is it in your negotiation type circles if you arrive and you have a gift but it's not there to present. One does not come to a dinner party without a gift. And that is out of the question. I tried. <laughs> you don't think a simple bottle of Aridane Red will be enough to suscite Baron Arcay. He is intending he has intended a gift of a queenly son. She it says. Is, uh, <clears throat> it is the Red Knights. Yeah, we Line. have the options laid out here. Well, I say the pass. Once again, if we don't make it by the time of the masquerade, there's no point. This entire yeah. journey is moving on. Right. <laughs> so the last, the the last of the three options I want to take <laughs> is the one we're gonna do. <laughs> we're all gonna die. So we're going through the pass. Cool. Yes. Yeah. Let's do it. Reckon. Harper Clavager. <laughs> all right. <clears throat> you all rest that evening, and you all have uh, an uneasy sleep, suffice to say. <laughs> uh, when you awaken, you are all imperiled. Yeah. <laughs> so I didn't change. <laughs> not, not, a, not a restful sleep, to say the very least. The oxen will... Um, Oh. Begin to grunt and snort 
as you ready to go through the pass. So first off, uh, who, uh, so going through the pass, uh, it's going to be a tough one. Um, who is going to navigate the way through the pass? Not a damn one of us that has it. We need a guide. I, uh, we had a hireling that did it before. Mm-hmm. Um, we do not have a hireling. Because mm-hmm. nobody would be dumb enough to take this job. Nope. I got 43. Same here. Better than me. About boards here. We are able to talk table talk. 48 then. Oh. We're supposed to do that one. No, I don't they want you for a scout? And deal ain't nope. a table talk. But Sorry. Uh, yeah, my table my, mine would be much better on the other side. None of us know anything about navigation. <laughs> Nope. So it's going to be Terwin. Uh, Ter- Terwin is the navigator. Yep. Uh, oh. Uh, but hey, put it on your shoulders. You made the oh, choice, yeah. right? Yep. It's, a, it's, it's that fun with the idea. Yep. Has it been another day that we've traveled so far? No. no. Who will be the survivalist? Not me. Warren. Okay. Warren. Mm-hmm. And who will be the scout? Who will watch out for? I will be with stealth. The boat. With the gun. <laughs> and that Good. will be... Uh, that's where we want to drink. Banneker. I know, that's where we want to drink. Alright. You begin to strike uh, out so. toward the mountain pass. We'll be like, whoa, there she comes. She's a man-eater. <laughs> As you get deeper into the mountain pass, you can hear the sounds of well, all manner of sounds. Winds, rock, scree. Even a chill wind here and there passing across the mountain. This incredibly narrow pass where you can see that the rock is, turns from black to gray. It looks like they were scorched some number of years ago, but you realize that this used to be a river pass, a river bed. And it is, as the wind comes through, it is kind of like whistles as it kind of comes through. There's a lot of wind down here. It's very, very chilly. Tara, when you're a navigator, <laughs> Uh, this is hard terrain. Oh boy. Uh, so, no. make your hand. skill test. 23. There's no way. And a 33 is a crit failure. So close! No, no. Not, close. not really, because it wasn't going to flip. Oh. <sighs> now I roll a 33. I know, that's why I was like, 33. No! Warren, you're the survivalist. You need to make a hard survival test. Oh, sorry, oh, sorry. Not hard survival because you're actually having to double back. You're getting lost in the mountains. It makes it an arduous test. Okay. 29% chance to succeed. Nope. Failure. Nope. 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 Yeah. And then finally, Banneker, uh, you need to make an arduous stealth test. Okay. Uh, arduous. So I have a 46% chance. Hide arduous. behind the mountains. <laughs> Leaving no traces as best you can as you abandon camp and awake. Did I just. I, I have a 46 and I have a roll. Oh. I have to re-roll mine. I'll take a misfortune point because oh that means three misfortune for me so far. This whole oh. journey has been a shit. <laughs> yep. This yep. leg is not very good. Not good. Uh-uh. Nope. Failure. Okay. Shame. Christmas. Well, <clears throat> I think that would be uh, three of these uh, horrible dice to roll. Danger. Okay. <laughs> we literally went into the danger zone. All right. This, you will all need to now attempt an arduous toughness test to withstand physical peril. This entire trip, you always awaken to in peril. Because you, well, oh wait, when I uh, arduous, arduous. 35%. 41. Uh, 
Would you believe critical success? <laughs> <laughs> oh! Would you believe anomaly? Look at that! Failure. <laughs> Do you believe that? <laughs> it was a 35% and I got 33. Arduous toughness? God, I don't know. I didn't know that skill right. Did right. anybody succeed barrel, save for failed. Alistair? I critically failed. Oh, nice. So, uh, I will allow you, Alistair, to choose anyone but Warren to succeed their test. You give them a helping hand, you aid them along the way, you, you manage to help kind of regulate their food and water intake, you bear some of the load. Alistair, who will you choose? Uh, I'm guessing that Elisa probably... No, I'm good. ...takes the, uh... All right. No I thought you were bad at physical peril. Uh, I have noble savage. I never suffer peril. <laughs> so I don't <laughs> care. <laughs> okay, so definitely not. I'll bad. take it. <laughs> don't do this. It seems that uh, uh, <laughs> Elisa has a there's a ruggedness to her you did not perhaps initially recognize as she uh, although it is an arduous travel it is not as serious for her but everybody else she don't care who okay, failed well those actually who, I'll go with uh, Tara Winwood Carol. Okay. So those who failed. Uh, suffer 12 physical peril. Those who critically fail suffer uh, 20 physical peril. Oh. Oh. Like yeah. Okay, I'm at Dork 3. Uh oh. <laughs> so, it's about a day in, and you realize even this. this this kind of riverbed that's kind of riddled with rock and no water seems to come down through here is incredibly rough ground. The um, Even the oxen are having difficulty managing through here. And at times, you're almost surprised to find that perhaps the madline may even get stuck between a few rocks. You're literally traveling between this very, very narrow pass. And you know these are their unsettled lands. And you can see all manner of kind of trails kind of winding this way. And that this appears to be like a main thread you know where the painted folk tra traffic back and forth. And you can see in the distant hills that there are plinths of stone uh, watching over the road. And you can see these kind of stacked rocks in places as well, way markers, uh, where the painted men have traveled. You all, you all know well enough to avoid areas like this, uh, if only because of the stories that have been told to you when you were younger. Is there any marks, trail markers, or anything that appear to be painted? There, there, are, there are stacked stones. Those are the only trail markers you see, save for the fact that you know where the riverbed is you're traveling through real, to the Black Fire Pass. I, just, I have secret signs in case there might oh, be something I could find from that or figure mm. out from that. Well, it's, you, 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 you make it evident to everybody else that this is clearly like where these roads lead to, but <coughs> you know that any time that you find those stacked stones, that means it's leading to a hunting path. And where you can see stone plinths up on the edges, that seems to demarcate um, the edge of the edge of um, of territory. Okay. And she would point that out to them. So, Terwin. Yes. Roll three <laughs> six chaos dice. All right. Oh. Not good. <laughs> Oh, come on, fearless leader. Captain, our captain. No, none. Oh. That's so lucky. Warren, roll 2d6 chaos dice. Come on, Nick, we know. Chaos. Here's one. <laughs> Banneker, roll 2d6 chaos dice. You got your wish. So what Not too bad. will befall all of you? Yeah, out of seven, only one? That's we will find one. out on episode 40 <laughs> of uh, Queen of Embers. Next. Cliffhanger! Oh, uh, yeah. no, literally a cliffhanger! So we will continue in just a few short minutes for our listeners. Thank you all for tuning in. Hi, guys. And we will have episode 40 up the following week. Cheers. Bye. 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 We'll be wearing the same clothes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we need a That's how they know.